Alrighty folks, howdy. We're here at the Green Mountain Mine today. A little blustery, windy. Not sure how the sound's gonna be. Try that right there. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the geology that's right uphill from the actual pit that I'm digging on right now. So you kind of get an idea sometimes how actually delineated some of this, these um, veins and chimneys and such can be. Let's take a look at that then. All right, so here's where I know we have the camp. There's some metal bits here and there, and there's no wood here really whatsoever. I'll hold this right here next to my chest. Um, why the Green Mountain Mine? Well, it's called the Green Mountain Mine for a reason. There's a little piece of copper ore there. Let's get over here. I'm tripping over myself. I know there's a couple more here, but there's a bunch. Anyway, this is looking up the hill. Um, ignore that tree ring there. I'm going to show you something here. It's kind of interesting. We're walking up this hill, and the vein from my pit actually cuts up into here. Right here, got a good example of a little chimney right here. Rock all around it. It's all quartz and pegmatite, and then boom, you got this little chimney pops out. Um, got some good iron staining in it, obviously. This is about three foot circle. And you walk up here a bit more. Here's a spot right here. We've got pegmatite, quartz delineation, running right about through here. Now we've got more quartz, float quartz, float quartz. This is, this is cute. And then, boom, different rock. Turn it around. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but it's kind of like a big bullseye, that tree dead center of the quartz. Let's see if I can circle it. It comes in around here. Out, around, circles down there. That tree is dead center. Now we're into this kind of heavy iron again, a little schisty. Does have some quartz floating through it. A little quartz pipe right here inside this. So we've got some interesting stuff going on underground. We don't know what yet, of course. Uh, nothing to really look at. But we know now that we've got draw it here. Where's our rock when you need one? Alright, so we've got a circle. Circle. We've got a circle of quartz here. The tree sits right here. Now beyond that to the north, we've got this line, which is the type of rock we're sitting in. Let's, let's draw this little line right here. This kind of circles that. We've got a circular around this quartz pipe. This rock up here is the what's encapsulating it to the north and northwest. So let's look at that a little bit more because this is really interesting here to me. Alright, so we're gonna walk, let's go northwest. And you want to see the delineation of rock type? Boom, right there. It doesn't show up nearly as good. Back up. All right, do you see that ridge? It runs right there. That's a nice cut. On Google Earth, it doesn't show up nearly as well as it does here. But then you've got this beautiful little cut here. This quartz bunts up against. So I'll get it from back here if I can. This is more just loose quartz pegmatite. Nothing really to write home about. I hope that one didn't too bad. But here, you can see really now the circle of that quartz from the tree's dead center. The delineation of this kind of iron heavy schisty pipe that's coming up. And then you got my mine behind it with the buckets and such. But you can see three very distinct bands here. You've got this one right here, that delineation that gives you this band, with the quartz chimney right there, and then it breaks off again. And in here, there's some, where the pit is, there's some pipes that come right back this direction, some stock works. So, my plan, depending on what this thing assays out at when I get down to the bottom of it, is to drive and add it back into this stuff. It really just kind of depends what we find. Man, wind's bad today. And kind of come up into this stuff because it's really interesting. Um, they didn't dig it. The original miners didn't. But I think they found something they really liked over there with that quartz where the actual pit is. I'll kind of show you what I'm doing right now. Here's another one spot too. Another little chimney pop to it and around it. This is another quartz vein here. Look at the stock work in there. Look at all those lines cutting through that actual certain that rock. 
Maybe we've got a good little vein right here, just I want to say about 30 feet to the north west of my pit. But let's take a look at that. Look how that runs. Where does it go? Right through that center of that quartz pipe. So we've got some really interesting stuff here. We got a lot of different meeting points for different rock. I've never seen this metal laying here before. Every time I'm here, I find some new. That old barrel, maybe. Did find some old, uh, a couple pieces of what's it, McToodle called? War cart rail, about nine, ten inches long. But here again, we've got weird little staining, a weird little spot here. A spot here. Let's go back down. After the pit, I've been doing a little bit of digging. A uh, little piece of the ore rail I found in the this right here. If you've ever seen one, uh, this is actually a washer. You take your 12 by 12 pipe, uh, 12 by 12 timbers, and this has a big bolt that goes through it, like a. Well, the one I got my trucks probably what, four and a half, five, six foot long, and um, it's not good on this side. But then it clamps your A-frame together. So it's kind of an indication that they did have an A-frame out here at some point. But let's get down here. Got my, doing a little bit of digging today. This is uh, my fourth set of two buckets. Built this slide here to bring the rock up. Just grab this rope here and you pull it up and slide it up that little aluminum slats there. It's a really easy to bring the rock up to you. Got two ladders because uh, I didn't know if there's anything underneath this or not. Like I didn't want to find a uh, some old workings down there. Uh, kind of by accident when the Rock and dirt was given away, and it's like an old antlion hill or tremors. And I just don't have the rec room that they had in, in tremors. Anyway, that's just some more of the rock up here. Um, oh, yeah, let me show you this from the side. Yeah, they're all hand hauling, by the way, right now. All right, see that little vein right there? And then you got a vein right here, and then focus it right there, and then this big one right here. Well, that one right there lines up and cross cuts this spot right here, which is another vein I showed you. And then these veins kind of line up that. Let's see if you can see it. Back it up a little bit. We've got a chance that those run into that tree up there, or it's that, that bullseye on that big quartz mound. So we got something going on here. Just don't know what yet, how much we've got to go on. But honestly, the, the system we're putting together, me and a couple other fellers online, um, if we've got more than like seven or eight grams per ton, we can make this pay, no problem whatsoever. Because um, we're our extraction rates, we're expecting to get extraction in the in the how mid 80s to mid 90s, somewhere in that range. Anyway. That's today's windy, blustery, bad audio lesson of the day. Till next time, folks.